Is this what our future home will look like? Our current world is not so different than the red planet. Unfortunately, we will sooner or later have to leave it. I remember, six years ago, watching the live coverage of the Curiosity rover landing. Although it isn't the only one there, it is the one working the hardest and will have a great impact on the preparations for arrival. Curiosity is now the closest to its home than it ever was since its launch, as the planet is now at about 35.8 million miles away. Let's head out and try to photograph Mars from the city. Today, for this new mystery planet episode, we are looking at Mars. Yeah, surprise. Hello everyone, so we're here at the RC field near our house. We just finished setting up everything and, um, and yeah, we're out here getting some stuff. So today we're going to look at Mars. Although it did not win the votes for this next episode, it got really, really close to being a tie with M74. So we're going to make a video on Mars. It's perfect timing because it's opposition right now. So we're going to do it. And uh, it's rising way behind us. There is a moon right there. And on the right, there is Mars. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was the best day to observe it, but it won't make any difference. Um, it's also the closest uh, since 2003. So yeah, we'll see how it looks. We don't care about light pollution. Um, you can see planets, like right now we see uh, Venus and Jupiter, so it's and okay. Planet. Yeah, light pollution is totally fine. We're like in the most light pollu polluted city ever, so it's still fine. We're going to put this camera on the telescope and see how Mars looks like. Let's do it. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, and its diameter is almost twice as small as Earth. But the length of a year is twice as long. Mars has two tiny moons with scary names Phobos, meaning fear, and Deimos, meaning panic. In 2020, NASA plans to send another rover to Mars to seek life on the planet. Let's hope we get a video of that landing as well. Okay, the camera is attached to the telescope now. Uh, the settings I'm using are manual, of course. I saw the minimum, so it's 100. And the shutter speed is 1 1,000th. So we're going to take a look at the live view. And you can see a tiny dot over there. Let's zoom in on it. We are far from being good planetary imagers. But a tip for you, if you are a beginner, is to use the lowest possible ISO. 100 in our case, and play with the shutter speed to several test shots. 1 1,000th is often a great place to start. Uh, we don't have any tracking, but here is Mars passing by on the screen. It's actually going by really quickly. It's very amusing to watch, actually. It's so, All right, so as you can see, it's uh, pretty fuzzy right now. Dalia, can you explain why? So right now there uh, has been a dust storm going on for a couple of weeks. It's a lot more muted than it usually is. Right now, as you see through the camera, um, you see it a little more clear. But with the naked eye, it's, it's very pale compared to its usual color. Here is a time lapse of the storm taken by Curiosity. I would not want to be in there. Mars did not look impressive today. We felt a little bit let down, so we turned our telescope to a planet that never disappoints, Saturn. That gave a smile to our face, so we decided to stay up and contemplate the red planet for quite a while. We almost never take the time to actually observe the sky with our telescope, as we usually set up and photograph a target right away until it's time to pack. This time, we were in the city and were unable to photograph deep sky objects anyway. So it really felt good to relax and look through the eyepiece for a bit. 
Here is Mars with the camera directly attached to it. And here it is with a 2 times Barlow. Well, um, we did some visual on Mars. It was everything but impressive. Not impressive. <laughs> Just so fuzzy um, because of the storm. So it's okay. Um, I don't see a huge difference between it being so close to us now than usual. But um, I mean, it seems more apparent than usual, but because of its less vibrant color, it's not as noticeable. It is the most I guess colorful object in the sky at the moment, but it is a lot paler than it usually is. So, again, not as impressive, but you know, still very interesting to look at. On Spekovinga. After a good amount of time looking at what may be our future home, we decided to start packing, but discovered that an uninvited traveler infiltrated our luggage. Ah, Nicolas. There's an insect that got into the luggage, so we pick it off before it lays eggs. You're disgusting! Get out! Get out! You don't even live here! Guess what? If it's laying its eggs right now, I'd be so mad. Come it's on, going back in there! Oh, take it off! Take I it can't! Off. I don't want to touch it! Oh no. Shit. Let's see. Yeah. Get out of here. All right, so now we have to clean this up. We're gonna clean the place and go home. Styrofoam was bad for the environment, so we're just gonna pick that up. So I tried my best to do a great picture of Mars. Sadly, there is no way to make it better since it's all fuzzy and cloudy on there right now. Um, there is no point of stacking the video together. So I'm just going to keep it like that. There's no way of making it better. Um, so <clears throat> I compared my picture from today to the one I took in 2016. And back then there was no storm at all, it was very really clear. And as you can see, there is a huge difference. It was the same settings used and just a single shot as well. So it was the same picture but just a different time. And it's much better as you can see, so yeah. So instead of letting you guys down with this ugly pic of Mars, uh, here are three pics from you guys that sent um, your Mars to us. And uh, yeah, it's much better than what we got, so it is. That is it for this episode about Mars. There is no three end choices today because last time um, M74 won, so episode 11 will be about M74. So yes, we know that this episode was supposed to be about M74. We just decided to do it on Mars since it was the closest it was going to be for a very long time. So we just thought we'd take the opportunity to do it anyway. Unfortunately, we run into that dust storm problem, but 
it was still really really awesome to capture it and we know that Mars was also a really really good contender to win since it won by just a couple of votes. M74 won by three votes. And um, go to our website if you want to see all of our gallery and all of our images. And if you yourself took a picture of Mars, you can send it to our email, which will be displayed somewhere here, um, to see your picture uh, on, on our website, website, on our Mars blog post. Alright, so we'll see you in the next video and clear skies.